Witnesses in Columbia observed the object gliding with purpose until it struck high voltage power lines and dropped to the ground. March 17th, 2025, 2.47 p.m. Juan Velasco hears the power line snap before he sees it. The metallic sphere sits in his field like it's been there forever. Except the grass around it tells a different story. 30 feet, perfect circle. Every blade of grass is dead, not burned, desiccated, like something pulled every molecule of water straight out. The soil is gray, cracked. One investigator described it as mummified earth. The sphere itself, 12 inches across. Aluminum, mostly, 95% pure. The remaining 5%? Elements that don't match any known alloy on record. When I first saw it, I thought that this was a U.S.-made, very advanced, next-generation fighter, and in fact that this would explain all the UFO sightings. Here's what makes no sense. No seams, no welds, no drill marks, no tool signatures whatsoever. Think about that. You can't make a hollow sphere without joining two halves. That's manufacturing basics. Every ball bearing, every metal orb, every sphere humans have ever created has a seam somewhere. This one doesn't. Jose Velasquez leads the Mexican investigation team, 20 years studying meteorites. His exact words? I've never seen anything like this, ever. The symbols cover roughly 40% of the surface, carved deep. Precise. They look almost hieroglyphic, but linguists from three universities confirmed they don't match any ancient language. Not Egyptian, not Sumerian, not Mayan, not anything in our databases. But when they tried to X-ray the sphere to see what's inside, their equipment showed something that made everyone stop talking. Three concentric shells, nested inside each other like Russian dolls. Nine microspheres floating between the layers, just hanging there. No wires, no magnets, nothing holding them in place. And at the dead center, a chip. Too small to extract without destroying everything, Colombian scientists tried every scanner they had. Nothing. The symbols remained gibberish. Pattern recognition software failed. Neural networks trained on every ancient language? Nothing. Six weeks of silence. Then someone at MIT had a different idea. What if we stopped thinking like humans? Quantum computers don't think in ones and zeros like your laptop. They think in probabilities, in patterns that exist everywhere at once until they collapse into an answer. Here's the difference. You're looking for one specific grain of sand on a beach. A normal computer picks up each grain. Examine it. Set it down. Pick up the next one. A quantum computer becomes the entire beach at once, then instantly knows which grain you want. They fed the sphere's symbols into IBM's quantum processor at midnight, linked it with Google's Sycamore system the two most powerful quantum networks on Earth working together. 3.17 a.m., patterns emerged. Not language patterns, mathematical patterns. The first sequence made the research team go completely silent because it matched Planck's constant, the smallest possible unit of energy in our universe, the foundation of quantum mechanics itself. Perfect down to 15 decimal places, more precise than our best instruments can measure. But the second sequence? That's when physicists started making phone calls in the middle of the night. The golden ratio, 1.61980339 nature's favorite number. It's in hurricane spirals, galaxy arms, DNA helixes, sunflower seed patterns, seashells, carved into alien metal. Then the patterns got stranger. Gravitational wave signatures, 
The exact frequencies LIGO detected in 2015 when two black holes collided a billion light years away. How does a sphere in Colombia contain the sound of colliding black holes? The speed of light, the gravitational constant, the fine structure constant that holds atoms together. One after another, the quantum AI pulled them out. Not approximations, exact values. Dr. Sarah Chen from Caltech said it plainly. If you wanted to store the operating system of space-time, this is how you'd do it. Think about what that means. Not a message, not instructions. The actual mathematical architecture that makes reality work. The source code of existence. We build computers that process information. This sphere might be information, pure math made physical. For 72 hours, the quantum processors churned through layer after layer. Each symbol reveals another constant, another universal truth. The sphere wasn't speaking in words. It was speaking in the language of the universe itself. But layer three changed everything. When the AI mapped those patterns, they weren't constants anymore. They were coordinates, positions, a map pointing to places our telescopes barely reach, and one location where nothing visible exists. But first, scientists needed to understand what those three shells actually do. MIT ran simulations, modeled how electromagnetic waves would interact with the layering. The results came back bizarre. Light doesn't just pass through, it bends, spirals, creates interference patterns that shouldn't exist with known materials. Dr. Michael Torres from MIT's Materials Lab ran the test 12 times. Same result every time. The layering acts like a photonic processor. It's computing with light itself. DARPA has been working on this since 2018. Metamaterial cloaking. Make an object invisible by routing light around it, like water flowing around a stone. The sphere's design is decades ahead. Those nine microspheres floating between the shells? They're not random. Golden ratio spacing, Fibonacci sequence alignment, positioned at exact mathematical intervals. Feed the simulation a frequency, any frequency. The microspheres resonate, not randomly. They create standing waves that amplify specific harmonics, like a tuning fork that remembers every note it's ever heard. Remember those viral videos of people chanting near the sphere? The farmer's daughter singing and the sphere supposedly humming back? The simulation says it's possible. Not magic. Physics. Certain frequencies would create resonance cascades through the entire nested structure. The sphere becomes a receiver, a transmitter, maybe both. But here's the part that made Caltech nervous. They modeled what would happen if you fed the sphere its own frequencies, the exact patterns carved on its surface. The virtual sphere didn't just resonate. It generated a localized space-time distortion. Tiny, microscopic, but measurable. When they actually tested it with sound, the sphere did something no one expected. Dr. Lisa Park from Harvard tried something different. She stopped looking at the symbols as language. She overlaid them onto star maps. Deep space, Andromeda, the Magellanic Clouds. Globular clusters older than our sun. The match was instant. Three symbol sequences aligned perfectly with fast radio burst sources. FRB 2020-20319, FRB 2021-807. The loudest cosmic screams we've ever detected. Coordinates, stellar positions, galactic GPS. But here's what made everyone nervous. One pattern matched a source we haven't cataloged yet. A position in space where nothing visible exists. Empty darkness between Andromeda and Triangulum. Think about Voyager's golden record. We carved our address into metal. Music, 
math, DNA sequences. This is humanity. This is where we live. What if this sphere is the same thing? Not from here, from there. A message in a bottle with a return address written in gravitational frequencies. The patterns even mark pulsars. Nature's most precise clocks. Navigate by pulsars and you can find your way across a galaxy. Any civilization advanced enough to build this would know that. Voyager will drift for 40,000 years before reaching another star. This sphere made it here, intact, functional, and that empty space between galaxies. NASA just quietly redirected the James Webb Telescope to look at it. July 2025. Whispers started in private collector forums. Tokyo, a smaller sphere, 8 inches instead of 12. Different symbols. Same impossible construction. The collector won't go public, but leaked photos show familiar patterns. Nested shells. No seams. Engravings that make your brain hurt because they shouldn't exist. If there are two, there are probably more. Think about what these spheres could contain, not just messages, technologies, physics we haven't discovered yet. Energy grids that pull power from quantum vacuum, propulsion systems that bend space instead of burning fuel, medical scanners that see probability waves before disease even forms. This isn't fantasy. The math on the sphere already showed us constants more precise than our best equipment. Dr. Chen spelled it out. The standard model of physics has holes, dark matter, dark energy, quantum gravity. These spheres might contain the missing pieces. But the weight anomaly? That suggests something even stranger than advanced knowledge. Because mass doesn't just appear from nowhere, unless it's being pulled from somewhere else. 16 pounds becomes 22 pounds. No material added. Three shells that can't be manufactured. Symbols in a language that doesn't exist. Quantum AI cracks it. Universal constants. Gravitational wave signatures. Stellar coordinates pointing to empty space. Either this is the most elaborate hoax in human history. Or we're holding proof that we're not alone. Type II civilization technology, the kind that harnesses entire stars. NASA requested samples. Won't say why. Three universities are fighting for access. The Colombian government sealed the investigation. Julia Mossbridge from UC San Diego wants answers. So does Harvard's Galileo project. But nobody's talking about what happened during the resonance test. Because when they played back the sphere's own frequencies, it didn't just hum. The weight jumped to 27 pounds in 40 seconds, repositioning themselves into a new configuration, a pattern the quantum AI is analyzing right now. The Tokyo sphere just did the same thing. Same pattern. Same timing. Like they're communicating with each other or receiving instructions from somewhere else.